Okay, so um, I wanted to give a little bit of context briefly on sort of my perspective and where I'm coming from. So I'm an alignment researcher based at the Stanford Existential Risks Initiative in the Bay. And um, I mostly work on mechanistic interpretability with Alex Turner. And we recently developed a technique called activation engineering, um, which basically is kind of a third way to interact with language models, you could call it, next to training and prompting. And there are perhaps some interesting, exciting connections with Hoban emulation, which I'm excited to discuss later on in the workshop. Um, but for this short talk, I wanted to sort of help share sort of my general perspective, which maybe I can convey from being kind of like in the thick of things in the Berkeley alignment community and kind of next to OpenAI and Anthropic there. Um, so sort of on that note, throughout this year, we have observed quite large advancements in capabilities of large language models, as well as, as, well as have seen further large tech players such as Google join in this development race. At the same time, current alignment strategy statements from leading AI labs fall, well, woefully short, to be honest, of adequate safeguards. And based on these and further technical considerations, I personally have reduced my alignment timelines from the emergence of dangerous AI from 10 down to closer to five years. I think that narrow forms of AI might also pose threats, and this could be even closer than that. Within the urgency of this context, I consider whole brain emulation interesting mostly only in terms of its utility for alignment impact, even if I acknowledge that it holds potential for, in some sense, perhaps less urgent advancements in other scientific fields. Therefore, during this workshop, I hope to dive deeply jointly in to clarify which technical blockers exist towards accelerating whole, bra accelerating whole brain emulation as a contributor towards solving the alignment problem. In a recent conversation with Eliezer Dudkowski, who is like one of the original alignment researchers, he mentioned to me that he thinks we are sufficiently desperate that we might as well try whole brain emulation. However, he is concerned that it might not actually be useful unless it is possible to keep the technical insights to build it confidential. This to me raises the clear question that there are not just technical constraints that must be met, but also non-technical ones in order for whole brain emulation to be helpful. For instance, to what extent might it be necessary to keep the technology confidential such that any alignment progress is not equaled or outdone by progress towards more powerful AGI systems? Would it even be realistic to keep it potentially confidential, given its utility for other commercial domains? To what extent might regulatory or moral bottlenecks resulting from ethical questions of sophisticated systems significantly slow potential alignment impact? For example, if we reach a point where whole brain emulation is sufficiently high quality and reliable to be used towards alignment strategies such as scalable oversight, doesn't this then also imply that these emulated brains are in some sense deserve, uh, deserving of moral regulatory protection? To this end, at the end of January, Sumner and I, he's also here, uh, jointly organized a workshop in which we met with about 16 alignment and neurotech specialists to try and map out the ways in which neurotechnologies might be able to contribute to alignment. So actually fresh off the press just early this morning, uh, there's this post here, which is like a quick synthesis of the main takeaways from this workshop. So if you feel like it later, it might be like a nice thing to scan in a break or something. Um, it's sort of like a short rundown of what we established with these people were some of the key trade-offs to pay attention to. And two of them I'll briefly highlight right now, um, which is there seems to be a clear trade-off here Whereas you, whether to invest in neurotech approaches towards alignment, such as whole brain emulation, or non-neurotech ones. Of course, there's going to be increasing capital in the next years, but it seems like we should still consider this finite, and the whole brain emulation ones are, of course, extremely expensive. And there's high uncertainty as to whether they will work. So one consideration here seems to be that sort of whole brain emulation, along with other biotech approaches, are perhaps harder to speed up due to biological blockers and potential regulatory constraints down the line. So this seems like something we should keep in mind as we evaluate the different technical abilities throughout this workshop. Another big trade-off here seems to be uh, whether we maximally want to accelerate a technology like whole brain emulation or have a more diversified investment portfolio. It seems like a resource-intensive development that would speed up whole brain emulation to the point where it can actively contribute to alignment might in some ways take away a lot of focus towards other different approaches in the space. And I find it's important to consider the relative utility towards alignment impact when making such decisions. One minute? One minute? Okay. So I think within the last minute, I'd love to briefly point out, oops, 
uh, some of the key questions I'm having in mind for that I would love to talk about. Uh, I'm not sure how to scroll either. Um, basically, I have one of them on the top of my mind, which is what are the key technical and non-technical constraints? To what extent are there any shortcuts we can take towards whole brain emulation? Do we really need to scan the entire static structure, or is there anything we can generalize from one part of the brain to another? Um, yeah, and also particularly, considering the rate at which AGI systems are uh, advancing, perhaps we might not entirely make it with whole brain emulation until that point. So for me, there's the quite interesting question, are there any intermediate results that we expect to get from the research into whole brain emulation that would already be useful towards alignment? Can we pinpoint them today and try to selectively move towards those, perhaps as intermediate milestones? Um, and apart from this, it seems like, is there something in the space of ML tech transfer? And it seems like, Robert, you've like really outlined something there, and this sounds extremely exciting. Um, and what type of scanning information is needed? I think today we've heard like various uh, techniques to get to different points of information, and it seems to me quite crucial to understand which parts of this information, in terms of temporal and spatial, is actually crucial towards getting this type of mapping that we need. Um, and do we really need to scan every part and every interaction, or is there something we can shortcut? Um, and I sort of had the idea or suggestion of perhaps we could create some sort of map of the different technologies to understand more closely what type of information are we feasibly able to measure within the technologies that people are developing in this room and that we know about, and what is really still missing? Uh, are there any like glaring omissions and in information we need to get? Great, wonderful, thanks. <laughs> yeah, maybe time for one question. Alignment as a field is generally a little bit early to be giving like specific impact input towards product development, but I think in terms of the big labs, OpenAI, Anthropic, and other people trying to develop significantly like large models, it seems like there are organizations like Arc Evals and sort of some other like alignment organizations that are starting to produce product relevant research in this sense. But I would say on the level of startups that are doing like more like end to end products, perhaps it's a bit early um, from my perspective. So what's your challenge? Oh, um, what are the key technical and non-technical constraints uh, towards intermediate solutions that can be useful towards alignment? Okay. Um, can I ask one question? Sure. Uh, so, like, there's been an incredibly catastrophically disturbing trend that, like, literally everything that's been trying to do alignment instead just builds more capabilities instead of doing alignment. So why do you expect it to be any different if you did discover some intermediate thing from neuroscience? Like, does that just burn the entire world down faster? Hmm. I'm not sure I can say that would be any different, but I don't think that means we shouldn't try. Um, it seems like perhaps with the right level of confidentiality and caution in which information we distribute in which ways we could do better than we have in the past. Um, at least this is my hope. 